What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we are here on the Miami channel at the Voice of College Football. In this video, I'm going to give you a very early projected record for Miami for this upcoming, upcoming 2022 season. And keep in mind, this is not a prediction. We don't do predictions until after, at least after spring and into the summertime. But this is simply a projection based off of the schedule, how tough the schedule is, and then how good each team is expected to be. Again, a very early look at 2022. Here are the projections from 2021 for Miami. They were 7-5. and five. Our projection had them at 8-4. and four. It was actually pretty accurate at 8-4 and four there. Uh, our prediction was 10-2. and two. I thought this team was going to be better. I thought this could had a chance to be a special year last year, and it just it just didn't work out that way. 10-2, and two, that was my prediction. Obviously, I overrated this Miami team. Seems like it uh, seems like uh, I overrate Miami a lot. They have definitely underperformed in recent years. The projection from F the FBI was 7.9 and 4.4. So they also had them right there around 8 and 4. And then the over under, 9.5. So Vegas was high on this team, but the FBI was closer. Our projection was closer than the prediction from me and also the Vegas prediction, the over under there, all the way up at 9.5. Uh, so. Let's look now at 2022 and see what the projection is for this team. And it's another tough one because you have a new coaching staff, some transfers coming in. You know, how is it all going to gel together? Could be a special season, could be potentially a disappointing season. We'll see. Uh, but here is how this is going to work the white games, the games that stay in white, those are basically your 50 50 games, games where I think the spread will be three or four points or less. Less than 20%, over 80%. That's a game where I think the spread will be at least two touchdowns or more. Almost a guaranteed win. And then you got your 20 to 29%, 71 to 80% games. Those are games where I think it'll be a double-digit spread, 10, 11 points, somewhere in there. Uh, and then you have 30 to 39, 61 to 70%. Those are games where I think a team is going to be favored by about a touchdown, six, seven, eight points, somewhere in that range. So for Miami, you've got... A few easy wins here on the schedule. Bethune, Cookman, Southern Miss, Middle Tennessee, and Duke. Now, Duke is closer to 80% than they are 100%. Obviously, it is a conference game, but that's a pretty wide range there, all the way from uh, 81 to, to 100%. Bethune, Cookman, obviously, I mean, that's like a 99% game. Southern Miss, Middle Tennessee, closer to probably 90 to 95%, and Duke is closer to 80%. But all of these games, I think Miami will be favored by at least two touchdowns. And those are games where they should win. Not automatic wins, but games that they should win. It would be a pretty big surprise if they lost uh, any of these four games. Now let's go to the blue. We've got one blue game. That's Georgia Tech on the road on November 12th. This one's a little tricky for me. It is a road game. Georgia Tech, I don't think is going to be terrible. But still, I think Miami is clearly the better team. I think they will be favored by 10 or 11 points in this game. And so we're going to put that one in the blue. All right, how about the games where they're going to be an underdog? A couple of them. I think Texas A&M and Clemson, both games where Miami will be about a touchdown underdog. Could be more than that. You know, part of that's how good is Clemson going to be? Are they going to return to their old form? If this is the Clemson that we have seen uh, before last year, the Clemson we had seen for several years, this probably is more of an orange game. And Texas A&M, I think, has potential to be an orange game as well. But I think Miami has a chance to be a top 25 team this year. And because of that, I think we can put these games in the yellow. I think they're only going to be about a touchdown underdog, even though it's two really good teams and they're both on the road. And then the rest of the schedule for Miami, I'm leaving in this 50-50 range. Uh, you got North Carolina. You got Virginia Tech on the road, Virginia on the road, Florida State, and Pittsburgh. So we start with North Carolina. Obviously, uh, it's it's been kind of a, a weird series between these two teams, but uh, that's one that is tough to predict right now. Don't really know how good North Carolina is going to be. It is a home game for Miami, so if you wanted to lean towards the purple on this game, I, I would understand that. But, again, I think it's one that, that could probably go either way. I would favor Miami, but I'm not going to go as far as to say that this is a game where they'll be favored by a touchdown. I think Miami will be a better team than Virginia Tech and Virginia, but both of these games are on the road. Virginia returns their starting quarterback. Virginia Tech's a tough place to play. I think you got to put these games in that 50-50 range. Both games were close last year. Florida State's a rivalry game. Now, they've got some question marks coming into this year as well. Uh, how will their young talent play? But, again, with the rivalry game, yeah, I'd favor Miami at home, but not enough to, to bump this into the purple. And then Pittsburgh, the team that won 
the division last year. This is going to be a tough game here. Keaton Slovis is coming over uh, to fill in that role for Kenny Pickett. A lot of talent coming back around him. Yes, I think Pitt uh, is, is definitely a 50-50 game there at the end of the season. So when you average all this out, we count the 50-50 games as 50%. Uh, we don't have any purple, but the blue is counted as 75%. The yellow at, as 35%. The green, they're counted as wins, 100%. And that's how we get the projection. So we average it all out. And the projection for Miami is the same as last year, 8-4. and four. That is the projection for this team. They were under that projection last year at 7-5. and five. That was a disappointing year. I think it's the same can be said this year. If they finish 7-5, and five, I think it's a disappointment. If they go 9-3, and three, it's a good year. 8-4 and four is, is kind of right there in the middle. That is the projection. This team, I think, has potential to do much better than 8-4, and four, or maybe not much better, maybe 10-2. and two. Uh, but they also have the potential to, to finish six and six. I mean, there are some tough games here on the schedule. So how will how will it all play out? I think the projection I think is pretty fair here at eight and four. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think the projection should be higher, should be lower, or do you think it's right on the money at eight and four? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.